First off, I would like to once again apologize for my actions last year. What I did was wrong and inexcusable. That is not the man I was raised to be, and I've learned a great deal from that experience and certainly should have been more truthful about it after the fact. I am committed to following the necessary steps to learn and to be a better and healthier person from this situation. I also understand the expectations that the Browns have clearly laid out and that I have to earn my way back to the NFL. It's still a breath, we got the hottest staff. In 03, I made a dynasty like Robert Kraft. A couple of days ago, the Cleveland Browns went out on a limb and they signed Kareem Hunt to a one-year contract. Now, he was obviously released by Kansas City some months back because of an incident he had with a woman that resulted in violence. Now, I know there's levels to everything, but when it comes to this situation, I just want to address a few things, y'all. Just a few things. First of all, Kareem Hunt made a mistake. He simply made a mistake, y'all. Since the situation occurred back in November, Kareem Hunt has done numerous interviews Views showing regret and sympathy for his actions. He's even written multiple apologies to the fans, the NFL, and the Kansas City Chiefs organization. Now, if you ask me, and that's if you care about my opinion, I honestly don't think that is who he is. I think it was an impulse kind of thing where he was called a name that he didn't take too much liking to, and he reacted. Doesn't make it right by any stretch, but I do believe that everybody deserves a second chance, especially if that second chance is given a somebody that seems to be pretty sincere about his apologies and his regretfulness for his actions. Now, when it comes to the Cleveland Browns, I think this is bigger than football. Think about it, y'all. Everyone is talking about how this can make the Browns a better team, considering the talent that Kareem Hunt is, but honestly, I think it's bigger than that. Way bigger than that. Just look at the situation in a different light from a different angle, right? I think the Browns are actually calling themselves doing Kareem Hunt a favor. Because if you think about it, as talented as the kid is, Honestly, I don't think, in my opinion, he would have played next season if the Browns didn't pick him up. The NFL is a business before anything, and revenue is very important, right? And when money is the priority, it can come into jeopardy when you're dealing with a controversial situation like this one. Honestly, who knows who would have taken the risk of signing Hunt, even knowing how talented this kid is. But John Dorsey made the move. Shout out to John Dorsey. But think of it like this, though. Kareem Hunt is from Willoughby, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cleveland. He also played college ball at Toledo, which is about 90 miles from Cleveland. Honestly, I think that has a lot to do with this signing. I believe there are some ties within the organization that eventually helped them come to this conclusion. Now, as we all know, in the NFL, winning cures all. And although I do believe that Hunt will face some type of suspension, I honestly think that his play next season will make this mistake be what he overcame instead of being the definition of who he is as a person, in essence, defining his character. The NFL will probably give him about six games that he may appeal, which could potentially make it four. And once he hits the field, backlash may come with it, which is a part of what happens when you're a high-level superstar that made a huge mistake. He's gonna have to be willing to accept it and move on, y'all. But the only thing I honestly don't like about this signing is the fact that they already have a young stud in that backfield by the name of Nick Chubb. I mean, he already had to beat out Carlos Hyde, who just so happens to also be a Cleveland native for his job last season. And if you ask me, I think the guy did enough to solidify his spot as the starter next year. And Chubb is also a special young talent, so it'll be real interesting to see how the Browns use both of these guys next season. Let me know what you guys think about this signing down in the comments. I mean, do you guys think Kareem Hunt will start over Nick Chubb next year? How y'all think this offense gonna look with both of these guys in his backfield? Also, how do you feel about the Kareem Hunt signing in general? Do y'all think he deserved a second chance? Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you love sports the way that I do. Man, the Browns are becoming one of the more interesting stories in the league. Just sucks we gotta wait a whole eight months to see some more football action. <laughs> but anyways, it's been a doozy, y'all, and as always... OG out.